Hey, what's up guys? The iOS 12 jailbreak has just been released. Let's go ahead and take a trip down memory lane and remember the good times today with a modern jailbreak. So if you are not familiar why you should jailbreak, I have an entire video dedicated to this subject. In a nutshell, take over control of your iPhone back from Apple. No longer is it restricted. You can access the file system and as a result, you can modify and install tweaks, a dark mode, for example, completely change the speed of your device, change the gestures, just all around complete customization. It's definitely something to try and with a modern take on it today, you know, I'm very curious to see all the tweaks and everything that comes out as a result. But anyways, I'm gonna run you through how to jailbreak. First off, let's check if you are compatible. So you need to be on iOS 12.0 to 12.1.2. So the good news is if you're not there yet, it's possible to get there. A downgrade is possible. I'll leave you with a link down below in the description, it gives you a quick summary of how to do that onto 12.1.1 beta three. This won't be possible forever, so you need to do it now. Also support, this jailbreak does not yet support all devices. It does not support the 5S and the iPhone 6 and the iPhone XR or XS or the iPad Pro 2018. Basically, any device with an Apple A7, A8, or A12 or A12X processor, just to be clear here. Every other device is supported. So I'm gonna walk you through a very quick tutorial on how to jailbreak. First things first is after the compatibility thing is settled and you've downgraded your device to 12.1.1 beta three, you guys need to go into your iPhone storage and make sure you have no updates that are pending that have been downloaded as they will quite literally brick your device. You you need to delete it. So navigate into your settings, general settings, iPhone storage, and make sure there are no over the air updates in here. If there are, delete them right away and restart your device and we can go ahead and begin the process. Now this is just a superstition thing, but go ahead and place your device into airplane mode. And if you don't have success, you can always try and disable Siri. Although this stuff is, like I said, superstitious. It doesn't actually change anything, I think. Okay, so down below in the description, I'm gonna link you to the official download for the jailbreak. It's just an IPA file, so it doesn't matter if you're on Mac or Windows, it'll work on both. So go ahead and download this IPA file and then navigate to Cydia Impactor. I'll leave a link for this as well and download your version of Cydia Impactor. That's what we need to do to install this. You will need an Apple ID, same as always. So drag the IPA that you downloaded into there, log in. I know jailbreaking can seem a little intimidating, but there is really nothing to be afraid of. It's a very simple process. It literally installs in a matter of minutes. So once that's done, you're gonna see this app, go into settings, general settings, scroll down to device management, and in here, go ahead and trust uncover. And of course, disable airplane mode to do that, otherwise it won't verify, but to go into the app and go ahead and select jailbreak. Look at that beautiful verbose boot window into the back workings of the jailbreak. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Major throwback to the good old days. So definitely a blast to the past today. Jailbreaking is as relevant as ever. I recommend you guys watch the why to jailbreak video as it basically explains everything you need to know about this, but there's nothing to be afraid of. The tweaks that are gonna be coming out from here on out will be very creative. I'm excited to see what comes out. Also very important for you guys to know that not all sources in Cydia will work right away. There are some bugs, so keep an eye out for updates on the jailbreak, you know, new versions. When a new version comes out, you just take uncover, select it and delete it and reinstall the new one doing the same method. And there's no better place to get news than r slash jailbreak on Reddit, which I will link down below as well. So first time you run it, you're not gonna get Cydia, you gotta do it again. Sometimes it may take even three times, maybe four, but usually not more than three for me and I'll see Cydia on the home screen. So your device will look like this with a little respringing logo. Just wanna let you know that nothing's wrong here. You know, no matter what, your device will still be safe at the end of the day. If you're worried, do back your device up before attempting the jailbreak, but I really wouldn't be afraid of anything. For me, it's been flawless. And for all the inevitable questions about the Apple A7, the A8 series, and the iPhone XS or XR, your jailbreak should be out relatively soon. So just be patient. This is basically the hardest part that's been done. Anyways, Cydia has been installed just like that. You guys are jailbroken. Remember, not all sources are working right now, so you might get some errors that will be patched in an update. Keep an eye out for those updates. You guys are free to install tweaks though. Not all tweaks are compatible. There are tweak lists on r slash jailbreak. So keep an eye out for that, but have fun guys. This is your playground now. Express yourself through creativity, through various tweaks. I'll link a couple tweak videos down below to give you an idea, but overall it's it's just fun. This is, this is a great thing guys. You will have a good time and it's still possible to jailbreak or get to a version 
to jailbreak in the future on devices that aren't supported yet. So uh, check that out down below, very important stuff. Again, a very sincere thank you to the developers for making this possible, keeping that dream alive. Enjoy the jailbreak guys, peace.